Good morning, YouTubers. This is Eric. I'm gonna make a video for one of my friends. It's called JBC Construction. Uh, this video is dedicated to Joe Belmontes. <clears throat> this is a new addition. It's about 800 square feet. I'm using titanium synthetic roofing underlayment. He has a 25 years warranty. I'm gonna use Shasta White 30 year shingles. To match with those colors that's 20 that's a three top shingle but uh, the owner is going to replace it in a few years so uh, so there's no need for me to install 20 year shingles when i can upgrade it to a better shingle installation right here i'm going to have to remove this course all the way to the over there and then on the other side so i can do the tie-in and then what else oh, on the the addition has been already inspected by the city inspector. Everything has passed. Right here on this side or on that side? Where, where do you want it? You gotta use a, a vent at Woodlibur right here. So later on guys. Okay, these guys, this is how you're supposed to install the, the starter strip on the lower edge. On the gable, you're supposed to install it upside down so it'll stick to the metal. And when the rain comes this way, it's not gonna. Okay, on the gable, you install the, the the starter like upside down to prevent the water to come in this way so the the stick it'll the glue is gonna stick to the metal and it's gonna seal you know the water on the gable and on the bottom you install her you install the the starter with the with the seal on up so it'll stick to the shingles you know it'll keep uh, and also nail about six nails per per piece so that's gonna skip the the wind Okay guys, I'm going to teach you how to do the valley, so you have to cross the shingles on that side and then you see how I did on that side, I'm going to take a video, see right here, see, I'm going to teach you how to do it, I'm going to have somebody record me, así, así me pone, así me pone, así me pone, no se mueva, ahí está, así.
ahí está. Se está viendo bien chido ahí. Para aventarlo al periódico. Quería aventar otro de esos para que no se me entretenga. Okay guys, uh, whenever you do in a valley, always use two shingles and just follow the, the second shingle, align it with that. Don't follow the first line because you're going to have a, a, a crooked line. You see my lines are straight. You see how straight they are? This is the secret. I usually go by two. I usually use that, the second shingle as an alignment and I just follow even like up or, or, like up or down on, on the last shingle. And this one I'm going to cross it and just going to throw a chuck line. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna use 20 year shingles on this side, 20 year shingles on that side, and uh, that way I can do it. Right now I'm gonna finish this side. It's been about an hour that side, and one hour, two hours I'm done with this shit. I'm sorry, excuse my language. <laughs> I'm done with this uh, roof right now. Okay. Hey YouTubers, this is Eric. I'm kind of sick right now. Uh, after five hours of working, I'm done. Uh, it's supposed to be done like. A, two hours ago but then I forgot two times uh, I forgot the paint from Home Depot and then some flashings over there I didn't have so I have to run to Home Depot two times and I waste my time you know anyway I just want to show you how I did the tie-in this is 30 year shingles this is three tap the bottom is this roof is old and sooner or later you know the lady she has to replace it in the next few years anyway this is how I did the my California I was gonna throw a, a, a a shingle across but I decided just to overlap them and then just cut them. See how I did the other way? Uh, these shingles are going in about like all the way up here like uh, six inches past on the top of the thing and then I throw a chuck line. I don't usually do this but I did it on this case because based on my experience, based on the thing that I saw, I also show you today how to how to uh, finish the uh, the valleys. I don't know if you remember I think I'm gonna love this video. You see how straight my lines are? And today I show you the secret how I do it. I, I see some people that usually go crooked on, on the valleys over there. I don't. You know, my lines are straight. I mean, I'm taking pride on, I take pride on my work. Okay, this is my, my turbine. I don't know if you remember, like, before I took a video, I only had the base on it, and then later I just added the top part. And I, I put it on a, on a plum. So that way the water doesn't go inside. You see those turbines are, ah, oh, those are plumb too. So uh, they did a good job. But anyway, I just want to show you my, my finished work. You see how I paint my pipes? You see over there, that's existing. Uh, a little touch up here and there, it makes work looks uh, professional, good, uh, quality. See my ridge is straight, I throw a chuck line too. And this is how I finish it. This is all the patches. I have to remove the the shingles on that side to to put a new felt underneath, and then put the shingles underneath, and then overlap the roof because this valley the water is coming from the top and then ending up right here. So it's gonna send the water this way, the water that way. Uh, no leaks for the next what 30 years. So this is for JVC construction. Greetings to Joe. My friend Joe from JBC Contract, Contract Construction. He's an architect. Uh, he's a good guy. Badass uh, architect. All right. This is my this is job. This job is for him. He's doing the all the uh, little addition right here, and uh, and uh, he's doing a good job. I mean, he's good. He's good at what he does. I only do the roofing part, so he does the interior. He does the drawings goes to the city pull out permits everything like that uh, he's one of the guys that I really recommend you know he's 
young guy. He's, he's very honest, good pricing. He's top of the line. All right, uh, hopefully you like it. And this is the job I just finished for him. Hopefully you like it, guys. Any comments, any ideas, give it to me. I need them. <laughs> anyway, have a nice day, and uh, hopefully you you like it. This is how I finished my tree top in my 30 years. I was gonna go with three top, but I said I just kind of got upgraded for the same price, so it doesn't make no difference. Right here, somebody did a weird thing, and I've never seen this before, but this has been done by a handyman. Somebody put a ridge cap underneath the valley, so I've never seen this. This is new to me. But anyway, if it works, it works, you know, as long as water doesn't go inside the house. It looks like somebody came to do a repair, or two people did this roof at the same time because the other the other side is California like I did over there and this side they put a uh, piece of ridge all the way up and then they overlap the shingles anyway three roofer lines a little crooked but who cares you know as long as water doesn't go inside there uh, anyway that's my job that's my work and I uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day bye bye